In this video, we're going to look at the derivative of a natural log function. So that's when your original function has an ln in it. It's not just going to be ln of a number, that way it's a constant and the derivative is just zero. If it has ln of an x, so this is logarithmic growth, this would be really slow growth. Um, if you remember that from algebra, we're going to look at how to take the derivative of it to see how fast it's changing. So. If we take the derivative of the natural log of x, I love these natural log rules because they're very short and quick. You look at what's on the inside. What's on the inside there? It's just a 1x. And we're going to take the derivative of the inside over the original inside. So what is the derivative of 1x? The derivative of 1x is 1 over the original inside is x. So there's no ln necessarily in our answer or anything like that. The derivative of the natural log of x is simply just 1 over x. And if you can't remember that, you can just think about, well, what's the derivative of the inside over the original inside? You get 1 over x. Let's apply that and combine it with some other rules. We have y here is the natural log of x. So when we take y prime, the derivative of ln of x, we just get to really just cover up that ln and think about what's the derivative of the inside. Derivative of 1x is 1 over the original inside is x. Or at some point, you'll probably have it memorized. You'll see ln of x and know it's just 1 over x for the derivative. But for now, that's how I'm taking it. Derivative over original inside. Derivative of 1x is 1. And then the derivative of the natural log of 4. There's no x on it. You can plug ln of 4 in on your calculator. It's even good practice to try. You should get 1.386, and it keeps going. This is a constant. Does not have an x on it, so its derivative is 0. So our whole derivative is going to be 1 over x plus 1 for that one. Looking at the next one, I can't just jump into taking the derivative because I see I have something in the denominator. I'm going to rewrite this whole thing. I'm not going to take the derivative of any piece. I'm going to take a second and say, hey, if x is in the denominator, it must be raised to a negative power. And what's the power on x if it's not written? That must be a negative 1 power. So making this one harder because of that algebra, having to rewrite in the denominator our negative exponents. But now I'm ready to take the derivative. The derivative of the natural log of x is always 1 over x. Again, that comes from looking at the inside here. Derivative of 1x is 1 over the original inside is x. Derivative over original. And then we have our power rule. We're going to bring down that power and subtract from the new power. Negative 1 minus 1 is going to make it more negative. We're going to be down at negative 2. So there's rule 9. Derivative of the natural log of x is always 1 over x.